welcome back to my channel. It is Amanda. Today we're going to be doing a haul video. I haven't done many of these this year because I've been on a low buy, very, very low buy, for most of the year. I did buy some stuff in April and I did buy a few things in July, so I wanted to show them to you so I can use them. My eyelashes are magnetic with a magnetic liner. And I don't have a plastic eyelash curler to smush my lashes and the magnetic lashes together. So if you're like, man, your eyelashes look weird, that's why. But I'm testing them out. Shocked with how they apply. Let's get to the haul. <laughs> First, I have uh, two perfumes from Dossier. They're so kind to send me some perfumes and I really, really appreciate it. This time I picked out one for my husband as well. I chose the woody basil for him. This is inspired by the YSL Loam. I'm not sure how to say it. Eau de Toilette with top notes of basil, ginger, and bergamot. Middle notes of violet leaf, lavender, black pepper. Base notes of tonka bean, patchouli, and blonde woods. The two ounce bottle of this on the uh, Sephora website is $76, but this retails for $29. Um, I've been using the Dossier fragrances for a few months now and I'm just so pleased with how they perform, the simplicity of the bottles, the fragrance it lasts um, on me. I know a lot of fragrance longevity is body chemistry, um, but I can definitely smell these on me all day. It's not like a body mist or anything like that. They are perfumes, eau de toilettes, and they last. If you are not familiar with Dossier, they are luxury inspired perfumes at a fraction of the cost. They are cruelty free, which I love because most perfume is not. There are a few cruelty free brands, but most are not cruelty free. And Dossier is a cruelty free brand. Their fragrances are $29. You're not paying for the packaging. They come in very simple, straightforward bottles, but the fragrances smell exactly like the designer inspired fragrance. I've specifically chosen fragrances that I know how they smell so I can compare and so far every fragrance has smelled spot on. <laughs> it's kind of astonishing. So I chose that for him and then for me I chose Floral Peony. This has top notes of peony, lychee, lily, middle notes of rose, magnolia, freesia, base notes of musk, cedarwood, and honey. And this is inspired by Chloe Chloe. The um, 1.7 fluid ounce of the Chloe perfume is $105. This is $29 for 1.7 fluid ounces. So a floral scent is my jam. Uh, this is probably going to be my August uh, perfume. Probably going to be my August perfume. But they're so kind to offer a discount code again, so I'm going to leave that on the screen. And there will also be a link, which I think should automatically apply the discount code. Um, in the description box but if you haven't tried Dossier I highly recommend checking them out it's a much more affordable way to try perfume and work to just wear perfume and I love that. Um, I have a few things for my friend Heather there are a few skincare things that I've already put in my closet in the bathroom and I didn't go grab them but she sent me a few things that she was decluttering I have already shown these on my insta story so if you follow me over there. You've already seen these, but in case you don't, I'll just talk about the makeup things that she sent. The ColourPop Miss Bliss palette. This is a pink and orange palette. The Miss Bliss palette, this is the one that I kind of collect ColourPop palettes. I, I do really enjoy almost every single ColourPop palette that I try, so I tend to keep and want to collect all of them. I know that she strongly despises these mattes with shimmer in them. I don't really mind them, so there are like five of them. There are four of those in here, though. So I can see why she passed this on. But I'm excited to try this palette. It's not necessarily my most favorite color story, but I just can't say no until someone offers a color palette. Next, she sent a palette from Ofra. This is one of their signature palettes in the color Empowered the greens. I have tried one of these before. I think it was called Galaxy. It was the purple one. I did not care for that formula so I'm hoping that it was just ugh, patchy because it was purples and purples are notoriously difficult to formulate. This green kind of is 
sometimes a difficult color as well, so I haven't tried this yet. I'm very curious to see how this works, but I could say no to green. And then we have the Buxom Boss Babe Dolly Palette, and I don't think I've ever tried a Buxom ready-made palette. I've tried the uh, customizable palettes, and they were fine. Uh, it wasn't something that I reached for all of the time, which is hilarious because I chose the colors, but uh, this is a pretty standard mauve neutral palette. But um, I wanted I wanted to try this formula. It's not like a groundbreaking color scheme, but it's pretty. And then the last palette that she sent was the Lemonade palette from Dominique Cosmetics. I recently decluttered my last two Dominique Cosmetics palettes, and it's not because the quality was bad. They just weren't palettes that I was head over heels in love with. But this is a little more fun color story. So I'm hoping I really love this one. Do they sell plastic eyelash colors? They have to, right? Right? They have to. This is the LA Girl Main Stage Palette. Avery was getting her hair cut at the beginning of the month. And this was sitting on the counter back there and it was on clearance for $4. I love the LA Girl palettes. I have, I think, five of them. They're all fantastic quality, very pigmented, um, interesting color stories. I really, really love the palettes. I don't love the size of them, and that is what's put me off from purchasing more of them. But I could not say no for four dollars to this cool toned green, purple, blue color. And these are all of my favorite eyeshadow colors. <laughs> so this was four dollars. Did I need it? I'm gonna say yes. I did. I haven't used it yet, but I'm very excited about this color down here. Uh, next we have the BH Cosmetics Passion in Paris palette. Again, I love the BH Cosmetics formula in this 16 pan palette. I didn't buy the Puerto Rico one, I can't remember the full name, but I like at some point. I really, really love these color stories. I like that they don't have a mirror. I don't ever use a mirror. That means nothing to me. This one came double sealed. There was plastic shrink wrap and a plastic key thing. Oh my gosh, this looks so beautiful. This Versailles color, I want to rub it all over my face. Pantheon. I am so excited. I cannot remember if I've actually tried this mascara or not. This is the Essence Lash Princess Sculpted Volume Mascara. Is this a new one? I don't know. I can never remember. There are so many in this line. And they just have different colors. I can never, I can never remember. I haven't opened it yet. I'm not ready to open this one yet. But I do like the uh, this line of Essence mascaras. This is probably my, my favorite line of Essence mascaras. I don't really care about the other mascaras they make. Uh, I also bought this kind of for Avery. It's pink. The Nailtopia One in a Melon. They have like a one point font on their labels. The barcode is so small, they can never scan it at Ulta. They always have to type it in and I'm like, good luck because I don't need glasses, but I cannot see <laughs> Anyway, I really like the Nailtopia polishes. I just saw on their Instagram that they released, I think, like 26 new colors. I think all look beautiful. <laughs> I've been really impressed with this formula. They're $10. They have a display at Ulta, like a, an end cap display, so they... You sell all of the colors and then you can purchase them online as well. But I really have been impressed with the, the brand. For some reason, no, I know the reason. A couple years ago my Ulta account was hacked. They didn't see any points, but they were changing their they were changing the contact info and I was like, no 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 no, that's not me. So Ulta like reset my account with and you like change, we change the pattern also. But I somehow have like an Ulta account. Uh, I, have, well, I have several email addresses, but in, in Avery's info. So she got a birthday email with her birthday gift. The April and July birthday gifts, in my opinion, were both terrible, but I redeemed them anyway. And I'll just give this away or donate it or whatever. It's Living Proof Frizz Nourishing Styling Cream. I mean, we know I don't style my hair. I kind of want to try it just to see if it does anything. Because I do have frizzy hair. I have a lot of baby hairs that stick up and go crazy. But, um, I don't know. 
Maybe we'll, maybe we'll try it. Uh, the last stuff is all from ColourPop. They've done, you know, they've had a billion releases this summer. I haven't purchased all of them. But they've had some that I've really, really been interested in. And at one point they were doing a 30% off sale. So I did um, purchase some things then and also one of their uh, newer releases. So first the Cherry Crush Collection. I think this was during a 30% off sale. It's, you know, there's like a, a pink row a red row and a purple row. It's not all cherry. I love pink eyeshadow. Makes my eyes look very green. I just really like it. There are just mattes and shimmers in here. No pressed glitters, no mattes that have shimmer in them. I haven't worn this yet because you know how I do with hauls. I need to get better about that. Um, with that, they also released these glossy lip stains and I meant to wear this the other day and I just forgot. It's fine. So I bought the color. This was before they released their full line. So there were only kind of red shades to choose from, I think. So this is the color Double Cherry. It's a glossy lip stain. And I like a glossy lip stain. I'm very curious to see how this works. I like the packaging. I like that you, know, you can see how you can see the product. It looks like it's pretty thin. And it doesn't smell like anything. Oh, I like the applicator too. It's like a paddle applicator, but more pointy. Um, in that same order, in the 30% off sale, I finally purchased the Good as Gold palette. I've been eyeing this for a very long time, and I just didn't purchase it. This is just a gold eyeshadow palette. Uh, this shadow came broken, this golden touch, but that is the pressed glitter. I love. There are two pressed glitters in here, golden touch and... Uh, gilded. I don't really wear the press colors all the time. Occasionally I do. It depends on how. It, but it's just straight up gold. There's nothing else in it. It's just straight up gold. And then this is more of a, a brassy gold. Uh, the first one almost feels like like crushed glitters. It feels like flaky almost. So that one might be okay. Some days I'm feeling daring and other days I don't want to deal with it. And then I also purchased the Lush Life palette because, um, <sighs> be still my heart. This looks beautiful. This is giving me vacation vibes. And I want a vacation. I also have noticed that they've started naming their shades more, because for a while they named shades like you would have a, a like a, a key lime green and they would call it banana powder or something and I remember them saying we'll never name our shades like the color suggests you don't look at a green and go oh yeah that should be called banana you think it should be called key lime or something and I, I've noticed that they've started naming their shades a little more closely resembling what the color would suggest the name would be if that makes sense. and I'm you know I'm a fan of that it's easier to remember but I did buy the Powerpuff Girls palette. I was never like a Powerpuff Girls super fan. I definitely know of them. I know one of them was named Bubbles. I don't know which one. But it was just, it was just real cute. It was just real cute. This one has a mirror in it, which I do not care about. And it also has two pressed glitters. Um, this Townsville and Super Friends colors. Um, I know some people are a little disappointed with this color story. I, like I said, I never watched the show, so I don't really have any input there. But I do, I feel like there was like purple that could have been added in and maybe like a really bright yellow. I've, I've seen a few episodes of the show. Anyway, it was real cute. This girl's rock shade down here. Actually, this whole bottom row, I'm just... I wish it didn't have a mirror because it's quite quite heavy that way. It's also not the same size as the other palettes, which makes me insane. They could be the same size. That would be totally fine. I'm sure that was in whatever contract they made with Cartoon Network, but personally, I prefer the smaller pants. I did also buy two of the blushes because these are actually like different blush colors than they typically release. So we have Saving the World. I mean, so it's still peach, but it's like a brighter peach. Uh, Fighting Crime. This is really bright. 
fuchsia, I don't know, bright. So, something different, you know? Back to Ulta because I forgot about this. I did buy one of the blush sticks from the Cabana collection. I believe, is that still just an Ulta exclusive? I'm not sure. Um, and I've never tried the blush sticks. Um, I got the color Too Hot. Oh, it feels. Oh, that's good. It feels um, plush when I apply it. If I don't know how to describe it other than that, that's really pretty. It's not crazy, but uh, I have been wanting to try the blush sticks because I do love a cream blush, and I have never tried these. And I was in Ulta, and it was an impulse purchase. So. So those are my recent purchases. Let me know your favorite purchases lately. What have you been buying? What have you not been buying? Um, again, I will leave the information for the dossier website and the code on the screen and in the description box so you can check them out. They have a ton of references and are always adding new, new scents to the website. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!